guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a rainbow themed hamster cage tour. If you saw Saturday's video, which I think a lot of you probably did because I've been getting so much support, um, you'll know that unfortunately Eduardo passed away. It was super unexpected because he didn't seem sick or anything, but I did just find him sleeping in his hut. I don't know exactly how old he was since I adopted him, but he did pass away. And like I mentioned in that video, some people don't like to get hamsters right after one passes away. But for me, I tend to usually get another hamster right away because it helps me with my loss and everything. And that's just how I process stuff. So I did go ahead and clean out his tank and I have it set up for a new hamster. I don't have it yet, but I'm going to be getting it soon. So I thought I would just show you the cage before the new hamster actually goes in it because I know this bedding is not going to stay like that for more than two minutes. So let's just go take a quicker look at the rainbow cage. So here is a little overview of the inside of the cage. I have six different colors of the Carefresh bedding that you saw in my last haul video. And on the back is just some really bright striped wrapping paper. I do keep my hamsters in 40 gallon aquarium. So since they are see-through on every side, I found that adding a little bit of wrapping paper just adds some nice color to the cage and it just kind of finishes the look. Over on the left is just a little plastic hut from Petco along with a brand new plastic KT water bottle that's just in a KT guard holder. Up front is a really cute orange polka dotted food dish that I got from Biovet. It matches that section of the bedding really well and then moving over from that, I just have these rainbow colored chew rings. This doesn't match completely, but this is the Fiddlestick Hut. It is really, really bright colored. The colors are a little bit more dull than everything else in the cage, but it still will give the hamster a nice little fun tunnel to play in and chew on. And it is still pretty bright, so I thought I would go ahead and add it. Moving over from that is the wheel. This is the Carolina Storm Express wheel in blue. Wheel's completely silent and my absolute favorites. And then moving down to the front corner, there's just this really colorful little rainbow tower chew from Petco and this cute wooden rainbow bridge, which once again is from Biovet. Then the last little finishing touch I put in there are just these colorful wood chews. I went ahead and used them to line the front of the cage, kind of like a border, and just add another pop of color. So that is my rainbow themed hamster cage. Like I said, nobody is living in there yet since Eduardo did pass away, but I am planning on going out pretty soon and hopefully finding a new little hamster to bring home and put in there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos and I'll see you guys next time.